Hey, what's up everyone? Donut here, and this video is just a little bit crazy. First off, before we get into the video, I want to go ahead and thank you for 20,000 subscribers. I hit 20,000 this morning. That means you guys are awesome. Just want to comment on something that I, I see people talking about in the comments, and that is why I don't put my opinion in some of these. The reason that I don't put my opinion in these is because I wasn't there. I harp on this on Facebook, on the comments all the time. Whenever if shooting footage is released, people are automatically going, you know, he should have, would have, could have done this. He should have done this. He should have done this. People who have zero idea what policing is like or, you know, what these adrenaline dumps are like that the officers go through. We weren't there. I wasn't there. You weren't there. We don't know what the officer saw. We don't really know what led up to the video most of the time. We can't smell what he smelled. We can't see what he sees. We don't feel that adrenaline dump. So it's hard to say, well, he should have done this. What I'm going to start doing, though, is kind of pointing out things that could have been done differently. I'm not saying the officer's wrong in any way, shape, or form, but I'm just going to start kind of pointing out, hey, well, you know, this could have happened, this could have happened, because that's how we learn, and that's how we improve on training. This Arkansas Game and Fish officer was sitting on the side of the road when a call came in that there was an armed suspect of a robbery heading his way in a white vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and start the video where he is crossing traffic after he sees other officers that have been chasing this white car. And what had happened is the officers chasing the white car were coming down the opposite side of the highway when the white car turned off into the shoulder. And this is when the officer you see in the video picks up the pursuit. Here is the Arkansas Game and Fish officer filming himself coming up on the pursuit that's coming in the opposite direction. If you look at that first white dot right there, that is the white car that is being driven by the suspect who they believe is armed and uh, just committed a robbery. These two white dots right here are the officers who are pursuing the, uh, the suspect in front. And if you watch, the suspect turns off into the shoulder as soon as the officer who's taping approaches. All right, you can see him right there, the suspect. All right, so the officer's looking around, trying not to get in a head-on collision. And if you look closely, he has both hands on his gun, going opposite direction on a highway. Probably not the safest thing in the world. What I'm assuming that the officer is trying to do is force the guy to pull over. On that note, though, as long as the officer's car is beside that guy's car, the guy's not going to be able to get on the interstate. So maybe he could have given the guy a little tapa-tapa into the woods, and if everyone was wearing a seatbelt, no one would be seriously injured, probably. Maybe he is just pointing his gun at the guy to get him to pull over, but at the same time, he's got his booger hook on the bank switch, and he's driving on a bumpy shoulder. And have you guys ever seen Pulp Fiction? Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. All right, let's continue. All right, if, you, if you've never heard the term violence of action, this is violence of action. This is awesome what the officer does right here because this guy supposedly has a gun. He closes the gap really quick, puts the threat down really quick. Check this out. All right, that, you know, at that, it was at that moment that he realized he had messed up. I mean, this is clearly a huge adrenaline dump on the police officer right here. Whew. All right, everyone, let me know in the comments below your opinion on how you think the officer handled the situation, what maybe he could have done differently, what he didn't do enough of. What I'm going to start doing for these videos is put the entire video without me talking about it in the description so you can go check them out for yourselves. Everyone, this is Donut. Have a very good day.